be really interesting to see what they run, want to run. Early on, maybe sometimes try to go for a halt and hook. That's almost always the cheeky rollout you see here from San Francisco. Ed Paris on the defense. Sparkle is on the Genji. Something to note. Uh, are they just going to... Okay, they're not going to switch off. Joy Open did end up jumping down. Sparkle is on Genji. Oh, look at that damage already. You've got to be careful. Xe has a damage boost. And he has dynamite. Does a lot of damage. But Arnt should be able to win the range duel here. It depends actually where Arnt wants to sit because you can see Snow Smite just kind of creeping around on the high ground. Wait yeah. for that grapple sound. I've just heard it myself. And there you go. He's down to the bat line. He is getting chunked on out and he might just go down. Yes, he does. No Smite. Perfect positioning from his Winston. And because you know at the end of the day, Hanbin's going to be more than safe in the front line. Although I say that actually, Stryker ends up returning the favor and killing off No Smite. Yeah, despite the lore of Tracer and Winston being best friends, Tracer can absolutely chunk down a Winston and just get inside in the giant head hit box. And it's actually pretty oh. easy to do. Tank's now down for Paris. No Smite should be joining them shortly, but they're just getting pushed back. Yeah, there's, I don't think there's any way really you can do it now, especially with Sparkle going down, Filter to match two. This is just a roll by the Shock on first point. Nothing they can do. It's pretty hard, though, to be fair, when you think about it. Shock have, what? Immortality heal, plus Ooh. self heal on Hog, plus shift for Smurf as well. Like, you can't do anything against that if you're Sparkle. You're kind of diving in and you're really just hoping for the blade, and that's <laughs> it. Sparkle then gets killed off the respawn too, and Fielder just takes a bullet to the dome. Luckily, they managed to get him back up in time. That was a very ambitious I mean, it's on there from Striker, but I mean, it forces them back even more. It's just brutal because Hanbin gets those late spawns, and Gibraltar's a map that just kills people, just based on the spawn timings. So Hanbin goes down, and then they're able to clean up another couple, and the first fight, when you get into second point, is so important. Shuttle control is the most important thing on Gibraltar's second, and Shock in full control of the launch pad. <laughs> I mean, Joy is up there, of <laughs> all people. You'd expect to be just chilling around where the, uh, where the Arisa is, but he's like, nah. I'm just going to protect my team from the dives. I mean, it's perfect. You have just one person sitting on the payload. He's Smurf, who's going to be more than safe. No Spy eventually gets his ult online. Has to pop it fairly early. Bob's going to come out as well to join the party, but Joy Urban refusing to move on the high ground. That's a halt. That's a, well, not a halt. It's a hook, though. And there's going to be Strike on the back line, too, just helping finish off the kill onto Exe. Can't really do all too much. FD got at least manages to get the <laughs> resurrection off, but Joy is right in his face once again. Does really get punished for it. for it, but hey, doesn't matter. We distracted you for long enough that we've just capped five minutes and 30 seconds text in the time bank. This is a not looking good for the Eternal. No, only two eliminations right now for the Paris Eternal, and you saw them both uh, so far. Right now, Choi is just playing the Roadhog where you're hitting that sweet spot secondary fire, and that's the most satisfying thing. Hooks are great and all, but just hitting the sweet spot secondary where you just know it chunked. It's like when you, uh, I mean, not everyone can really, but you hit a golf ball well and you just know it right away. That's what that secondary fire feels like. This Genji Blade right now has to turn the tides of war, but with him going down like that, maybe it won't. I feel like I'm just jinxing them, Hex. No. Pure cast occurs. Immortality Field is going to save them from the flux. There goes FD God's head. A nice little stick as well onto Exe. Are they going to stop? I don't think so. There's the window. They're going to be able to stall for a little bit of time. There's the pool noodle <laughs> of a blade. Eugene Sparkle God. dies. Fielder also falls. And I think this is it, Hex. A complete roll by the shock. Four minutes and 29 seconds Jeez. in the time bank. If they're even granted another round. Jeez. I mean, like, what can when you, you get say? The, you can't you get the, say anything, X. I, I always talk about uh, Anubis' second point as one of the best spots to put a, a long range hit scan up on, on like, the, that, that high ground there. But Gibraltar is right there with it. Like, that's the Widow checkmate spot. You really, really want to be in the back there. You can go. You can go back bridge, you can go middle bridge, and yeah, I was just waiting for confirmation from our production. That is the new fastest offense on the map of Gibraltar by 10 seconds. The San Francisco Shock absolutely My rolled. Word.